Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. In this video, we will discuss about the topography and triangles of the neck. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. The neck is divided into four regions to which some subregions or triangles belong. The regions include the anterior cervical region, posterior cervical region, lateral cervical region, and the region of the sternocleidomastoid. The anterior cervical region or the anterior triangle of the neck has four subtriangles, which include the submandibular or the digastric triangle, carotid triangle, omotracheal or the muscular triangle, and the submental triangle. We will discuss each of these triangles separately and see what all anatomical features they possess. But before that, let's have a look at the anterior cervical region. So this is the lateral view. And this area shaded in the green is the anterior cervical region or the anterior triangle of the neck. Now let's start with the first subtriangle, that is the submandibular or the digastric triangle. The submandibular triangle is a glandular area between the inferior border of the mandible and the anterior and posterior bellies of the digastric muscle. The floor of this triangle is formed by the mylohyoid muscle. For a better understanding, we will discuss the borders and the contents in a tabular form. The borders of the submandibular triangle are the superior, anterior and posterior borders. The superior border is at the inferior border of the mandible. The anterior border is the anterior belly of the digastric muscle. And the posterior border is the posterior belly of the digastric muscle. The contents of this triangle include the nerves, vessels and the viscera. The nerves are the mylohyoid and the hypoglossal nerve. The vessels include the facial, submental artery and vein and the lingual arteries and veins. The viscera include the submandibular gland and lymph nodes in the anterior part and the caudal part of parotid gland in the posterior part. Now let's have a look at this triangle. This is the anterior view of the muscles of the neck. And this is the superior border, that is the inferior border of the mandible. This is the anterior border, that is the anterior belly of the digastric. And this is the posterior border of the triangle, that is the posterior belly of the digastric. So this triangle is a submandibular triangle. Next is the carotid triangle. This triangle is important because the common carotid artery ascends into it. Its pulse can be auscultated or palpated by compressing it lightly against the transverse processes of the cervical vertebrae. The borders of this triangle are the superior, anterior and posterior borders. The superior border includes the stylohyoid and posterior belly of the digastric muscles. The anterior border includes the superior belly of the omohyoid muscle. And the posterior border includes the anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid. The contents of this triangle are the nerves, veins and the arteries. The nerves include the cranial nerve 10, cranial nerve 12 and the part of sympathetic trunk. The veins in this triangle are the internal jugular, common facial, lingual, superior thyroid and the middle thyroid veins. And the arteries include the common carotid, external carotid and branches except the maxillary, superficial temporal and posterior auricular and the internal carotid artery. Let's have a look at this triangle. So these are the stylohyoid and posterior belly of the digastric that makes the superior border. This is the superior belly of the omohyoid muscle that makes the anterior border. And this is the anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid that makes the posterior border. So this triangle is the carotid triangle. Third subtriangle of the anterior cervical region is the omotracheal or the muscular triangle. The borders of this triangle are the superior, lateral and medial. The superior border is the hyoid bone. Lateral border is the superior belly of the omohyoid and anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid. And the medial border is the midline of the neck. The contents of this triangle are the muscles, vessels and viscera. The muscles that are in this triangle are the thyrohyoid, sternothyroid and sternohyoid muscles. 
The vessels are the superior and inferior thyroid arteries and the anterior jugular veins. And viscera includes the thyroid gland, parathyroid gland, larynx, trachea and the esophagus. Now let's have a look. This is the hyoid bone that is the superior border. This is the superior belly of the omohyoid and the anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid that makes up the lateral border. And this is the midline of the neck that makes up the medial border of this triangle. So this is the omotracheal or the muscular triangle. Last triangle of the anterior cervical region is the submental triangle. This triangle like the submandibular triangle is flowed by the mylohyoid muscles and root by the platysma, fascia and skin. The borders of this triangle are the inferior, lateral and the medial border. The inferior border is the hyoid bone. Lateral border is the anterior belly of the digastric. And the medial border is the midline of the neck. The contents of this triangle are the anterior jugular vein and the submental lymph nodes. Let's have a look at this triangle. This is the inferior border, that is the hyoid bone. This is the lateral border, that is the anterior belly of the digastric. And lastly, this is the medial border, that is the midline of the neck. So this is the submental triangle. Before ending the video, let's have a quick look at all the triangles of the anterior cervical region. That is it for this video guys, we will cover rest of the triangles in the upcoming videos. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and follow us on Instagram. Links in the description.